Hey guys, it's MT A D D D Y. I don't know because today we are gonna react to another pitch meeting and holy crap you guys the amount of views I got on my first uh the pitch meeting with the Mandalorian I think it's like fifty two views right now, which is insane because that that's the most views I ever gotten on any of my videos, so I just want to say thank you for, you know, watching this, you know. Um, but we're going to get into a new um, pitch meeting soon. But uh, let's see. Ads roll. Okay. So. so you have a new Jurassic World movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. Amazing. I can't wait to see what's going on with... Uh... I don't know the characters' names. Nobody does, <laughs> sir. But nobody. according to Wikipedia, their names are Owen Grady and Claire Deering. Oh, well, fantastic. Okay. So what happens in the movie? Well, it's been four years since about 50 dinosaurs escaped at the end of the last movie, so now they're all over the world. How did that happen? Look, do you want to see dinosaurs out in the real world or not? I mean, yeah, of yeah, course. That's like the main the, the thing, thing I want to see. So stop asking so many questions. Yes, okay, question. geez. We'll cut it out. Okay, okay I'm sorry. Geez. I forgive you, sir. So now the dinosaurs... Dinosaurs are all over the world. Things aren't going too well. Uh, well, I can't mm. wait to explore what the world is like under those conditions. Oh, and explore that we will, sir. Oh, boy. And a quick now this new segment at the beginning of the movie. Oh, that's it? Well, that's mostly, it? yeah, because then we got to get into the storylines the fans have really been asking for. Which are? Which are? Kidnapping plot and a bug problem. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't what know we wanted that. The classic fans have been clamoring for, sir. Bug okay. swarms and farming issues and the kidnapping of an angsty teen. I guess that Who is knew? a natural problem progression from a dinosaur park movie yeah so owen and claire who both have names and that's what they are they've been hiding that mazy girl from the last movie that makes sense i mean she's the one who let all the dinosaurs loose and caused the deaths of a bunch of people oh no nobody really seems to care that she did that oh she's directly responsible for the chaos no that's fine True. Oh, okay yeah there's actually that's this fine. company biosyn that's after her because they want to study her blood oh, what's their deal what are they up to well this company's actually run by dodgson remember from the first movie he was briefly in the original movie ever so briefly he sure was sir amazing so what's his deal now wait oh that's oh okay oh oh i didn't realize that like i guess Oh my god. That's right, he w Oh my god! <laughs> Guys! <laughs> it took me so long to realize. The, the bad guy that was Peter Parker's dad that I learned is the guy from the first Jurassic Park movie. That's why he has the shaving cream con container. Oh! Oh, I'm dumb. I'm done. <laughs> Let's continue. Three, two, one, go. Now that many years have passed, he's transformed into Apple CEO Tim <laughs> Cook. What? And Tim Cook wants to control the world's food supply, <laughs> so he created these giant locusts that destroy all crops except biosyn crops. Very evil. Yeah, so biosyn kidnaps Maisie and Beta, this baby that blew the raptor head, so Owen and Claire are gonna have to deal with that. Okay. And meanwhile, okay. Ellie Sattler and Alan Grant and Ian Malcolm, they're gonna deal with the bug problem. They're from the original movie. They That's are. Right. So bringing back original beloved characters many years later is there any other way to make money these days I nope know, right no seriously is there because we're rapidly running out of iconic characters to bring back please help sure. oh yeah no i got nothing <laughs> dang okay we'll figure it out eventually oh, God, yeah. i hope so sir yeah. so owen and claire track Maisie and beta down to this black market dino thing in malta okay mm -hmm. but there's this evil lady santos who can make raptors attack people by pointing a laser uh -oh. so just as she's getting arrested she points a laser at the good guys oh damn well i bet we haven't seen the last of her no we have no we oh, have okay. that, so that's claire's it. gonna have to outrun a velociraptor on foot how is that possible they're incredibly fast oh, <laughs> she's got a little trick up her sleeve where she's one of the main characters so she can do it oh neat yeah, yeah. so then this pilot kayla helps them escape and they head over to biosyn headquarters in the dolomites which is also a dinosaur valley oh that's the most exciting type of valley sure is <laughs> sir so meanwhile we're gonna meet up with 
with Ian Malcolm, who's working at Biosyn, okay? And he's brought Ellie and Alan over to help him uncover Tim Cook's sketchy plans by getting a sample of one of these giant locusts, because, you know, they're both respected individuals. Yeah, they gotta stop Tim Cook from making bugs, for sure. And there's also this guy, Ramsey, there. And at the end of the movie, we're gonna find out he also wants to expose Tim Cook. If Ian and Ramsey were already working at Biosyn, why didn't they get the evidence and bring it to Ellie and Alan? So the original cast can reunite and we can do the thing that every blockbuster has done for the past seven years. That makes sense. So anyway, while they're sneaking around the Biosyn uh -huh. labs, the plane is gonna get attacked by some flying dinos. Uh -oh. Yeah, and there's only one parachute eject thing working, so Owen's like, well, Claire, we're gonna launch you into the dino-infested jungle because you got the best chance of finding Maisie. Isn't he an ex-Navy dinosaur trainer? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Never mind. So then Owen and Kayla's plane crashes. Oh my god, so they die? What? No. no. Fine. Oh, they are. Yeah, it's yeah. just a plane it's crash. It's just a plane crash. This is an action movie. That's how planes get to the ground. Right, fair enough. And then this really cool-looking dinosaur's gonna attack them and Owen's gonna fall through some ice. Oh my god, hypothermia. Sir, if a big plane crash didn't hurt him, do you think some cold water is gonna do anything at all? That's a good point. <laughs> so anyway, eventually we find out that Aww. Dr. Henry Wu is the one who engineered the locusts for Tim Cook, but he feels bad about it now. As he should. I he mean, should. that guy made the dinosaurs too. He's caused tons of death. Yeah, but he feels bad about it now, so he's pretty much a good guy. Oh yeah, no, okay, I see that. I like this guy now. He's a good guy now. <laughs> and also we find out that Maisie's not actually a clone. Oh, she's not? No, turns out her mom was actually a scientist who gave birth to a version of herself with changed DNA that didn't have the genetic disease that she had. Oh, wow. giving birth to yourself is tight. What? 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 So anyway, what? he needs to study her blood so he can stop the locusts and save the world. The locusts he made? He's a good guy. He is, yeah. So eventually, Tim Cook's gonna find out that he's gonna be exposed and he burns Tim all Cook. the locusts, but they escape and cause a forest fire. Uh, whoops. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. And Owen's gonna choke a dinosaur. He's gonna choke a dinosaur? Well, sir, earlier in the movie, he's gonna stop an 8,000-pound dinosaur in a full sprint using his hands, some rope, and a tree stump. So I think he can choke a dinosaur. That's unbelievable. I know, right? No, I mean, I don't believe that could happen without his arms snapping off. Well, it's gonna. And then Tim Cook is gonna <laughs> die, and a gigantosaurus is gonna terrorize the group. Uh-oh, it's gonna be hard for them to survive a gigantosaurus encounter. Actually, it's gonna be super, super easy. Barely barely inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, cause see all the good guys do the hand thing, and then a T-Rex pops out and saves the day. Wait, the hand thing? Yeah, you know the thing where Owen puts his hand out, and then all the dinosaurs are like, whoa, 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 whoa. Right. It's like a Jedi Force movie. You know, the hand thing. <laughs> the hand you know, thing. Like the thing that just barely worked on the raptors he trained for years. Hey, shut up. So then the T-Rex shows up, and <laughs> hey, he's a little branding detour. Nice. And he's gonna team up with his friend Wolverine Dinosaur and kill the Gigantosaurus. So it's gonna be a nice triumphant moment. Oh, hell yeah. That'll teach that dinosaur to... Uh, be a dinosaur? <laughs> yeah, got him, sir. Wow, wow, wow. 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 Yeah, and so then iconic good guy character, mm. Dr. Henry Wu, engineers a thing to stop the locusts. So do you see any repercussions for all the terrible stuff he's done? He does not. So then at the very end of the movie, dinosaurs and humans mm. and animals have kind of learned to coexist. And you know what? It's pretty nice. Wait, how did the events of the movie lead to that happening? Oh, no, that part no, worked but... itself out in the background. Oh, well, great. It worked out fantastic. So what do you think? Oh, it sounds like it sounds like money. Yeah, you think <laughs> critics will like it? But no, I didn't say that. <laughs> Hi everybody, Ryan here. Thanks for watching that pitch Hi, meeting. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, and if you feel like it, you can subscribe to this new pitch meeting only channel. Also, I don't did. forget to subscribe to any other channels you like. A lot of cool stuff out there. Also, just have a nice day. Oh, don't forget to leave you. a comment down below letting me know what other movies you'd want to see pitch meetings for. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Didn't I tell you guys that? <laughs> That the bad guy looks like like it's like some some like guy from like Apple or Microsoft. <laughs> they literally stole my joke. And, like he did look like Tim Cook. that's who he looked like. Tim Cook. I couldn't put his name, but I knew it was like the Apple CEO or whatever. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, but the dachshund thing didn't click to me until he just out of me like that. Thank you, Ryan, for out of me like that. Jesus Christ. Anyway, <laughs> this has been a very funny pitch meeting. I laughed almost all the time. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be hell to edit. Okay.
Uh, but anyway, this has been Andy the A to D D Y. I don't know. That was a very, very funny, funny pitch meeting. Oh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.